any ISAP will do, right? Wrong. Choosing the right size of ISAP as well as having it at the correct PSI is essential if you want the best performance for your board and you. And by the right size, we don't just mean the right length of board for the type of paddling you want to do. For example, a longer race board or a shorter surf up. We mean also the right board width and thickness, which should be determined by the paddler's size, weight and height. A SUP is very much like a bike in how choosing the right sized one to suit the rider makes it easier to use, perform better and all the more enjoyable to ride. You wouldn't put an adult on a kid's bike or a kid on an adult's bike, would you? Well, maybe you could, but we guarantee you wouldn't get very far and you wouldn't want to do it again. In this SUP border video, we're going to be explaining why board width and thickness is important to consider when determining the right size of board for the different size of paddlers. When we're talking about different sized paddlers, it could be anything from a paddler under 75 kilograms, over 100 kilograms, a young child or tall adult. People come in all shapes and sizes and so do SUPs. So make sure you know how to choose the right size board for you. Let's start off by talking about board width. By board width, we mean the distance across the center part of the board by the handle. This is generally the widest and most stable part of the board and where you're gonna be standing most of the time. A board's width is the main factor when determining stability. Generally, the wider the board is, the more stable the board is. So it's well worth considering a board's width, especially if you're a beginner and you're looking for a more stable board. But is there a point when a board is too wide for a paddler? And if so, what width is that? The simple answer is yes. The ideal board width not only depends on the paddler's ability, but also the paddler's size. A board the right width for the paddler will not only be stable enough and allow the paddler to confidently paddle, but also allow the paddler to paddle comfortably. This means without reaching across too far, making it feel awkward. Paddling a board that's too wide will not only feel slow and sluggish, it will also be difficult to paddle in a straight line as the paddler will struggle to get their paddle vertical and it will become particularly challenging when paddling in windier conditions. And the opposite, a board that's too narrow will be super unstable and hard to keep you staying upright. And for many paddlers, this is not much fun. A board the correct width will be easy to paddle, comfortable to paddle while still offering you enough stability. An all round inflatable SUP, which is 10 foot 6 long and 32 inches wide, is a good size for an average size adult beginner. But as a general rule, think of it like this. If you're less than 5 foot 4 in height or under 70 kilograms, look at a 30 wide board. If you're 5 foot 5 to 5'11, 75 kilograms to 85 kilograms, a 32 wide board. If you're over 6 foot or 90 kilograms plus, looking at a 34 inch wide board will be a great board to look at as a beginner. Now that's not to say a child can't paddle a wider adult's board or a small adult can't paddle a 34 inch wide board. They can, but if they really want to paddle any kind of distance, getting a board with the correct width will make it more enjoyable and comfortable to paddle. But that of course isn't everyone. You will find certain heavier paddlers that have got better balance and you will find lighter paddlers that will need a little bit more extra stability. Now let's take a look at board thickness. What do we mean by how thick the board is? Well, we're measuring from the top to the bottom and when it comes to inflatable paddle boards, they generally come in three thicknesses, a four inch thick, five inch thick and a six inch thick. But the five and the six inch thick are definitely the most common sizes. Some brands make all their boards the same thickness. Other brands offer different boards in different thicknesses. Now, why is this, you may ask? Well, the simple answer is to suit different size paddlers. The heavier the paddler, the stiffer the board will need to be to support their weight and ensure the board maintains a good profile on the water, allowing good performance and stability. Board thickness, along with the construction method and the materials used, all determined how stiff the board is. 
think of a board very much like a beam and the stiffer the beam or the stiffer the board, the better it's going to do its job. No doubt you've definitely seen many bendy banana looking ice ups on the water, which often result in a person getting very wet and not enjoying their sup experience. But there is also a downside to thicker inflatable paddle boards. A thicker six inch sup means that you're gonna be standing higher out of the water, which many paddlers say can make them feel less connected to the water, much like a cork bobbing around, and therefore possibly less stable. And also having a thicker board means you will be affected more by the wind and the chop easily from the side. And a thicker board will most likely be slower to pump up too, due to the extra volume, heavier due to the extra material, and more awkward to carry due to the extra thicker rails, especially if you've got shorter arms. So therefore you ideally want to be on a board that is as thin as possible for your body weight to get the best feeling and overall performance out of your board. But remember, if you plan to carry extra weight on your board, lots of extra bags, a child or even a dog, you should remember this is extra weight and consider this when you're looking at your board thicknesses. As a general rule, paddlers under 85 kilograms should be on five inch thick boards. Paddlers over 85 kilograms should be on six inch thick boards. In general, for many novice heavier riders or someone carrying lots of extra weight goes on a five inch thick board, the board will bend in the middle and won't perform as well. Whereas on a six inch thick board, the board will be stiffer, able to take the weight, maintain a good shape in the water, be more stable and give you a better performance. A lighter paddler should go on a thinner five inch thick board because they won't need the extra stiffness a six inch board provides. So ideally they will want to be on a board that makes them feel more connected with the water and less affected by the wind and the chop. Yes, a lighter rider could paddle a thicker board and many do, especially if you're having to share kit. But like we said earlier, they will be affected by the wind and the chop and possibly feel less connected to the water. Paddling a board the correct thickness for your body weight will overall feel much nicer to paddle and allow you to perform much better on the water. Now bear in mind, many cheaper brands only offer six inch thick boards because it allows them to produce a stiffer board despite poorer construction and materials. When it comes to the PSI pressure, whether you're on a five inch or a six inch thick board, it's important to pump up your ice up sufficiently. All ice ups should have a recommended PSI which to pump your board up to. This is often written around the valve. The recommended PSI varies between brands and boards. Usually it's between 15 to 25 PSI. A board with a higher max PSI is generally a good indicator of overall quality because it shows the brand is confident that their board can take it. It is important that you reach that recommended PSI to make sure your board performs as it should. An under inflated board will bend in the middle. The nose and tail will be up in the air and it will feel very unstable and tricky to paddle. The same board inflated to the recommended PSI and with the correct rider weight will look and perform much better and be much more enjoyable to paddle. This is particularly important if you're the weight of paddler towards the upper limit of the rider weight recommended. So don't be tempted to under inflate your board and rush onto the water and you will definitely only regret it. So as you can hopefully now see, there are lots of things to consider when choosing the right board. And considering your height and your weight, as well as your ability and what you want to do on your SUP will help ensure you pick the right board for you. Get it right and you really will have a board that is easy to paddle and it will perform well on the water. We hope you found this video useful. We'd like to thank Shark Sup for sponsoring this video. They're a great example of a brand that has a great choice of boards to help every rider size and ability.